You are watching the Axis RV series on orientation videos. In this video, we will explain how the RV system works, what you should know about it, and what you should do about it. In this video, we'll talk about how the water system works. Let me rinse and I'll be right up. We're gonna start off with how the water systems work. How does this work? Water comes in the RV into the fresh water tank supply, which is about 50 gallons, which can only be used by running the water pump. Or it comes through the city water connection, which bypasses the water tank and goes straight into the water system, having no need for the water pump. This water gets separated and sent to four different types of places. Hot water heater, toilet, bathroom shower, and kitchen and bathroom faucets. When the water gets used, it then goes into two different places. The toilet water goes into the black water tank and all other used water goes into the gray water tank. Both of these tanks are about 35 to 40 gallons. What should you know about the water systems? Two things when putting water into your RV. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm talking about my hair. If you're using the city water connection, you want to make sure you have the pressure adapter installed in the hose line. This lowers the pressure so it doesn't burst any pipes inside your RV. Now when you're filling up your fresh water tank, which is going to be right here, you're going to want to make sure that your valve is only open about halfway. And that way when you put the hose in, the water from the pressure isn't going to kick the hose back out. Also it's going to ensure if it's only halfway open that there's going to be sufficient air that can get in and out of the tank. One more time. You should always know your levels or how full your tanks are. By looking at the convenience center, you can check your fresh water by pushing fresh. By pushing black, you can check your black tank. And by pushing gray, you can check your gray tank. Supplying your RV with water is going to take place on the driver's side of the RV towards the rear, as you can see located right here. Monitor your system so you don't run the water pump dry and that you also don't back up the holding tanks. To dump the holding tank and sewage tanks of the RV, you will pull the sewer hose from the rear bumper or a storage compartment. At some campgrounds, you're required to use an elbow connection, seen as this one. Make sure tanks are closed, open the drain cap. Twist on the sewer hose to the termination port. Open the big one first, which is your black tank, and wait about 15 to 30 seconds. Open the small one, which is your gray tank, wait about 15 to 30 seconds again. Close both valves. Unscrew sewer hose. Reattach drain cap. And drain residue out of hose. Reinsert the bumper or storage compartment. You now know how the RV systems work. If any of these items are giving you trouble, you can check out our renter's manual put inside each one of the RVs. In there is a user's guide as well as a troubleshooting guide. In each one of these manuals, we have listed information of the manufacturers. If you need to contact them, feel free to do so. Also, we have listed our contact information. Please feel free to contact us during business hours. If you have any troubleshooting questions after hours, we do have a number listed that you can contact our after hour service number. You're all set to go. Have a great trip.